So hello there guys and welcome back to the ADSC channel. Again we are back with some more Dinkum. So where we left off we were we just got this this task book, this adventurer's log, a journal if you must. <coughs> I do apologise and today we're gonna try and just see where we can go. Obviously games like this they do take a while to, to build up to some sort of freedom and you know, being able to go and do what you want. But who cares? We're gonna make as much money as we can. So tasks wise, Fletch wanted some food. We were very smart in that we you know we knew we'd come in with nothing. We didn't even have shoes on our feet for God's sake. We went and collected some food ahead of time. So Fletch wants some food, let's give Fletch some food. Oh. Nice. So we're build a campfire now. Sorry, the gift. Okay, yeah, she's given us a recipe, and the gift she's given us is stone. Is she, is she like smoking crack or something. Why would stone be a gift? Right now, what we got to do? Okay, no tasks currently. Okay. See, she, she is just, again, blowing smoke at us, you know, tooting our whistle, trying to make us feel big so that we, we keep coming back for praise and keep being a slave, but it's not going to happen. We're going to amass as much wealth as we can, and we're going to take over. Cool. Now the rest of the day off. Oh, I'll figure something out today. Okay. So this one she just, I just, the dialogue man, doesn't have the, the Animal Crossing vibes and tell you that's the only thing that, you know, isn't, isn't all that about this game is, oh hello, it's, it's the dialogue, you know, it's, it gets a bit, a bit long, so place down our sleeping bag, I need a little little cook location. So maybe maybe here. Just get a couple of nanas on there. Dragon was, 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 was blowing smoke. He was on fire, guys. What have I done? What kind of a monster have I created? I don't feel bad. Hopefully, hopefully he'll die and I can eat him. You know, nature. Something just happened to end up on fire from a fire that may or may not have been started by me. Is it, is it if I truly been responsible for the end of that creature? You know, that creature's demise. I don't, I don't know. Cool, so we are going to... What's the quickest way back to the shoreline? This way. So we are going to go in a mass as much as we can because Trader John is apparently going to be making an appearance according to the old lady. You know, she said that she's, uh, she's invited him over. We've got a place for him to, to set up his tent. That he will be coming any day now. And we don't want to waste time. As soon as this trader John appears, I'm going to fleece him of all his money, all his riches. It will all be mine. You know, who cares if the economy gets broken. Who cares if he has to go back to South City? Well, there'll be more people. We shall take over. Okay. So, shells. In any kind of game like this, shells. Shells are where it is, for now at least. We're just 
going to see how many shells we can amass. If I have to walk around the whole island and gather every single shell, we will. So right now, we need points and points equal prizes. And I want all the prizes. I think this is probably what we're going to be doing today for the rest of this in-game day. I know that obviously in games like this you can get carried away with just sleeping to progress time and, you know, trying to get some sort of progress out of the blooming butterfly. This one is also blooming. Thank you. We'll keep one of every kind of these, as they will have a use later on. <sighs> Muscle. Looked like a shell in the water, so I thought I'd just... I'll just go and grab that. <gasps> and Guardia. I haven't said that right. I I do apologise. I'm not a doctor at the end of the day, I can't can't decide how far this is. Right. Here we are. Take me to the shells. An emerald dragonfly. Interesting. We'll just make sure that whenever we see like some fruit like this, we'll make sure to gather it up. See right now shells are the priority. We have no way to uh, acquire anything else other than collectibles on the ground. So we really need to maximize the collectibles on the ground. As useful as it is. would be to be able to go over there and get the shells, but I don't know. I'm just a bit cautious because I saw a shark a little while ago. Obviously as we can see there are jellies in the water. I just don't, just don't want to get just don't want to get hurt. But I can't outswim a shark, I've got no shoes. I can't even walk without stumping my foot. How am I gonna outswim a shark? Or fly. I wonder why. I thought it might be something interesting, but just a standard fly. Right, right, right. Okay, wooden. That is all the shells on this island. So let's just uh, let's just swim back over. Shark. A shark doesn't look like he's anywhere in sight, fortunately. This guy's little legs were a little bit faster. It's really... He seems to have the speed of a snail in the water. That two-year-old can swim faster than that, I swear. shell count currently. It's looking promising. It's starting to get dark though. So I wonder how much longer we're really going to be able to be out gathering shells. It doesn't really look like there's too many shells up there. If any. Thank you. 
chase some sail down. equals power and with power there comes well they say great responsibility but I prefer to think of it as as an ability to take advantage look at that permit points permit points look at that we've already amassed over a thousand permit points in the first day oh, we've not even done anything we can't we can't really do anything at the moment. The permit points are key, they're going to allow us to actually start being able to access some of the resources on this island. Again, back to the shells. But I think I think the first order of business as soon as we can. We need shoes. I know we we are poor currently, and we are we're basically a slave. But we have no shoes. How can one how can one walk on this this rocky land without shoes? How are we doing for shells? Oh, oh, oh money, money, money! The more shells, the better. Like if all else fails, we can always just start a business gathering shells, grind them down and take them back to the city. I'm sure I'm sure someone will someone will pay premium for some premium ground shells. Especially if we, we take the white ones if uh, if you know what I mean. Boringly mundane. It is. It's getting. It's getting rather dark now. So we. I'm gonna have to be heading back and going to sleep very soon. The good news is, we should be able to sell these shells in the morning. How far are we currently from our home or our tent? Quite a way. It's fine, we shall we shall gather these last few shells here, then we shall we shall start heading towards the base camp. The civilization of ours that we are going to begin amassing. Okay, which way from here is home? So we need to head sort of this way, I believe. So we make sure that we are we are gathering up as much as we can on the way there. want to be doing is as we progress having to, to go and grind out the again we could be doing it now again why are you so slow my guy literally doesn't know how to swim okay so 
we follow this river up, we should get two base camps pretty soon. I can see it off in the distance there. The light of that, that campfire, that... Ooh. Hello. A cockroach. Interesting. Oh, we can't... We can't attack things with this. Good if we could, but oh. sadly not. Oh. Okay, so we've got some this. Some poo, thank you. See so, uh, our buddy's still here. How you doing? So we're gonna go ahead and sleep for the night. And I guess this will bring this episode to the end. And uh, we will be back with the next episode starting a brand new day on the islands of Yuma. as always thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe and comment if you uh, if you hated this video i'd really appreciate it <laughs>